as they will say in a few moments. Ladies and gentlemen, get down and repent. Both of you are going to say that. I don't think Donald Trump's going to say repent. I will. I will say repent and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt have eternal life. I will speak of the lips of Jesus. There is none other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. Jesus said you must be born again, so you must be born wrong. You know why you were born wrong? Because you were born of Adam and Eve. You're a sinner by birth. And in my mother is sin and sin. And you have no hope. You have no future unless you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Your life without Jesus is torment. Your life rejecting God is condemnation. And according to Luke 16, I have a message, not only of God, but I have a message from your family that are in hell. Whoa! Luke chapter 16, the Bible says that that man in hell says, Go and tell my brothers. your family and friends don't want you to do? They don't want you to join them in hell. Okay, we're going to go to hell. We're going to party. We're going to party about this. Hell is a place of darkness. You can't see each other. Hell is a place of torment. You ain't going to have feelings for partying. You're going to be in torment. How does God describe the, the, the flames of hell? Torment. Torment. Tormenting, tormented. That's how God describes hell in Luke 16. You know how John the Baptist describes hell? He says it's the wrath of God, John 3.36. He also says it's no light. Look, he says, he that has not the sun shall not see light. And yet you get eternal life in hell. And John says that ain't no life at all. He says the life is when you have the sun, you got eternal life. And rest assured, let me give you a promise. I can say this 100%. You're going to die. I don't know when. Don't ask me. God knows. And I know if you die with the saving grace of Jesus Christ, I know where you will go. I know where I go. These things have I written unto you that you may know you have eternal life. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, because of Jesus Christ, I will fear no evil. Now don't get me wrong, I would hate to burn. I would hate to be stuck in a building that is collapsed. I would hate to be tortured. And yet I can have that peace at death through Jesus Christ. And unsaved person, you may die a nice peaceful, you may go to sleep and just and wake up in torment. And your mind will just blow. And there's no relief. Hey, your doctor's in hell. He ain't going to give you a prescription. Your psychiatrist's in hell. He won't want to hear you. The pharmacist, he can't give you no medication in hell. There is no relief in hell. But by Jesus Christ, let me tell you what you'll get. A brand new body. That won't age. Is your body hurting? Mine does. It won't hurt in heaven. Have you had tears? Every mother has tears. In glory, the Bible says, God shall wipe away our tears. No more pain, no more suffering, no more saying Bye, because of death. I had buried two wives because of cancer. They're waiting for me. They're saved. They're in glory waiting for me. I'll never say goodbye to them again once we get to glory. I had seen many Christian friends I had to say goodbye to. There are more people in heaven right now than there are here on this earth right now. I'm getting pretty lonely. That's why I'm here. I'm here for you to learn about Jesus so you can get saved, become my friend, become a brother in Christ, and go to glory. But you're not going to go to glory 
by rejecting Jesus. You're not going to go to glory because you go to church. You're not going to go to glory because you're good. You're going to go to glory by Jesus and Jesus alone. Amen. Don't think you're good. People come to me as a, as a street preacher. I'm good. The Bible says there is none that do it. There are no Catholics in heaven. There's no Baptists in heaven. There's no Lutherans in heaven. There's no race car drivers in heaven. Only those that are washing the blood, and that's called Christian. And it, Christian's not just a name, it's a title. It's a person that puts their faith and belief only in Jesus Christ. Only in Jesus Christ. I don't eat Jesus. I don't drink Jesus. I receive Jesus. I receive him as my Savior. I am not ashamed of the gospel. And the gospel saved my soul April 21st, 1987. And saved my first wife. And saved my second wife. And saved my grandparents. My grandma died 20 years ago yesterday. To save your soul today. My blood's been saved 36 years. I've been saved 33 years. I'm Glory to God. Glory to God. You don't know like my preaching? I do. I love it. I love preaching. I love the gospel. I love when people come up and ask me. I have to preach it. I love when people say, shut up, I go you love. Because I can't shut up. With my heart, I have believed Jesus Christ. With my mouth, I can't shut up. Like my brother said, he said, stupid. That's my word. I don't use the word stupid. Thank you, brother. Thank you. You see, the devil doesn't want you to read this book.